How's it going guys? So we're here to check out the cool stuff being added with the Halloween patch. And as you can see all the smoke here, that would be this little fella here, the Fogger 3000 Misty Performance Fog Generator. <laughs> you can turn this guy on and off, or you can set it to trigger when there's motion nearby, which is pretty cool. The sounds you hear is the spooker speaker <laughs> and uh warning guys uh if you have problems with flashing lights or epilepsy uh just probably shouldn't watch this next part here uh because there's a strobe light added into rust you'll notice once this update goes live you'll also get a warning when joining the game that some lighting effects could cause seizures so keep that in mind you've been warned so here we go so we got the strobe light here and you can turn it on, be set to 10 hertz, 20 hertz, or 40 hertz. So we'll turn that little guy back off for a minute. There's also this awesome curse cauldron. I turn it on, it's a campfire, pretty much. But yeah, it's just really, really cool looking. It's got some awesome effects with the candles you've got. Pretty cool, they don't require fuel. The fog machine does, however. Uh, runs on low grade the strobe light and the speaker do not so uh, I asked Hulk which one of these items will have to be purchasable uh, so far he said the fog machine strobe light and speaker uh, but the cauldron he's not sure on yet uh, I'm not I think the sickle might be as well but they're still adjusting on that kind of stuff uh, you can actually craft them in your inventory so if you go here the graveyard fence is 250 stones 75 metal fragments and the let's see if we go to weapons they show up in here no okay so there's a pitchfork oh fork whoa Okay, Pitchfork's not showing up anymore. That's interesting. Hmm, neither is the sickle. All right, well, that's weird. Uh, speaker. All right, there we go. Speaker. 100 wood. So we got that there. The candles. They are 35 animal fat and 8 cloth. So you've got that going on there. Now, let's see. Butcher. Ooh, the book. Ooh. Butcher knife isn't showing up anymore, so that's interesting. Uh, let's see, cauldron, uh, cursed. Yep, cursed cauldron, we got that. 100 wood and 25 metal frags. So there's that guy. Uh, fog, there we go. The fogger, 100 metal frags, 30 low grade, and a pipe. That's pretty cool. And strobe, we've got 100 metal fragments and two high qual. So that's pretty cool right there. And this fence is actually pretty neat. So actually, if we go to items here under the miscellaneous, it actually stacks all the way up to 10. So you see once you know, we went past. And they place just like high externals. So as you can see, they connect and uh, go with each other. They kind of conform to terrain a bit, but you know, ugh, it can be weird. If you jump on them, they do actually hurt. I'm in god mode right now, so it's obviously not doing damage, but they do hurt. Um, and if you try to stay on the side part, even though it looks like it would be safe, you still take, you know, damage there. Now, the pitchfork is a new item. And it's basically a spear that's reskinned. And you can go ahead and toss this guy, which is pretty cool. And, uh-oh. Think we may have that that might have been the end of it. Let's go back to weapons and grab another pitchfork here. Alright, got another pitchfork. And if you look on it, it's damage is 40, attack rate 40, attack size. So blah blah blah. Let's compare that to a spear real quick. So 25 40, and then let's look at this guy right here. And 35 40. So it's just slightly better than a stone spear, basically. Then we got the butcher's knife, does 20 damage, attack rate is 86, and it's basically, you know, counterpart to the bone knife, so its damage is 10, uh, 46, and let's see, its flesh gather is 10, this is 
10, and its attack rate... Wow, okay, so that's... It is fast. So let's take a look-see here. Ooh. Yeah, you can really hit with that sucker. And I believe, yep, you can throw it just like the bow knife, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, throwing things into those isn't that great. And then you've got a sickle. This thing's pretty cool. You can throw it as well. And it actually can gather wood. So let's go smack a tree over here real quick. Do, 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 do. And there you go. <laughs> it can actually harvest wood. And uh, this guy is 30, 67. And uh, tree gather 40. And it also does a little bit of, wow, flesh. Flesh 12. That's actually better than the bone knife so that's kind of cool it's actually going to be a useful tool so that's pretty neat now if you haven't noticed i'm dressed up in this scarecrow costume it's actually just listed as a work in progress i don't think it's something any of us can wear but as an admin of course it can be spawned in but what it's really there for is the scarecrows which are kind of similar to the murderers from last halloween but we'll get to that in one second because we still have one thing to check out and it is the wearable barrel <laughs> and when you're wearing it you you have the same view as a uh, as you would with a heavy helmet. Now, right now you can actually use stuff with it. Hell said he's not sure if he's going to put this one in or not because it's kind of OP if you could just hide as a barrel all of a sudden with a weapon. So he's saying maybe if you wear it, you can't uh, use anything at all while you're wearing it. And let's just take a quick look at it. Oh, oh boy, hit the camera button there. Um, yeah, you can see it also kind of despawns from a distance, which is weird, but there you go. Uh, it, that's, that's what we look like. And, uh, when you crouch, it actually covers you and you just kind of look like a blue barrel sitting there. So that, that's a really neat thing. Also, the sound effects you're hearing right now is this guy, but at night with the, uh, scarecrows or the imposters as they're being called, uh, are around, you'll actually have the scary music play as well. So let's go ahead and make it nighttime. There we go. If you have your music cranked up, you should be able to hear some creepy music. And let's go ahead and head up the road and see if we can't come across an imposter. So now they do attack the uh, scientists, so there might not be scientists as abundant as there would be because these guys are attacking him. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. We'll just have to see. But, oh, there's one. And that's all you see is those glowing eyes and then they come at you. And they can have a butcher knife. They can have a... Oh, looks like the animations are a little screwy right now. That's weird. Oh, there it goes. Now he's butcher knifing us. Um, but they can have a chainsaw. They'll actually throw bean can grenades and they will also... Uh, throw pitchforks, so that's pretty crazy there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this dude in the daylight Come on now There we are I don't yeah, I'm not sure why his walking animations aren't working right, but yeah, you can see he's got a bean can on him right there he's, This guy's got his little butcher knife out and he's ready to take us out let's go ahead and sickle him <laughs> and In his inventory you'll find basic barrel loot and oh, okay and he's added to loot tables, so this is where you can get your butcher knives and your graveyard fences, etc. Lastly, one of the things you'll see around is the stone, sulfur, and wood, and so forth are all going to be the little different things around the map this time, like last time. Like, you know, gravestones and spider nests and all that kind of stuff, which is cool. So you'll be seeing the return of those, which is pretty awesome. Now, this other thing that's really cool right here is you can see they're adding a spray can to the game. Well, what's a spray can going to do? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is graffiti in CSGO and being able to leave a thing like that. Well, the issue with something like that would be, you know, people putting racist stuff up and this and that. They could make a set amount of graffiti or whatever, but it's not a graffiti thing. It is a skinning item. This will be used to skin large items in game as well as vehicles. And that's right, you heard me when I said vehicles. Now, I did mention in my last video the hot air balloon would be skinnable for its actual balloon. Well, I got news from Hulk that the new boat model, unfortunately, I can't show you the model yet because it's not in and they're not quite yet sharing visuals on it. 
As soon as they do, I'll be able to share that with you. But the current, mo well, I, it's called a rowboat, but it's technically a little motorboat. But the current little motorboat will actually be replaced with a custom model made by Tom and will be skinnable as well. That's right, you can skin the boat. This also means vehicles like cars probably will be skinnable as well in the future, and this spray can will be used to do that. How the skins will be made, I, I'm assuming it's going to be the same as any other skin in the game. Pretty much uh, the devs will probably make a couple here and there to start it off, or maybe not even at all. And uh, the rest is going to be community made and picked to be put in game. So that will definitely be something we will be covering as well. Very excited for that. Lastly, the hot air balloon has a few changes, so we're going to go ahead and spawn it in. And oh, it went all the way over there. <laughs> Uh, it actually has these little flags to help you with the directions. So if the air sock isn't something you can always look at, as you start moving around, are we stuck in this tree? Nope, there we go. All right, through the tree we go. You'll notice that as the air sock moves, these flags will too. And you've got this one there, this one there, and this one there, and this can help you with the flight of the air balloon, air balloon, blah, 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 the air balloon a little bit because, uh, yeah, the air sock you have to look look up and keep an eye on the what's going around and you know underneath you what's going on and this and that. I don't know. Maybe someone will be in the way, or maybe you can have a navigator. Even it just depends, I guess. But these little flags can help you from all the different directions to let you know how you can go ahead and control your flight pattern and you know the air balloon moves by air so you know you're gonna have to keep turning on off to adjust in a certain direction see how i turned it on now we're going the same direction as the air you can turn it off we start to descend and you have to kind of keep doing that so honestly the easiest way to fly this thing is get as high up in the air as possible and then you can use the flags to kind of figure out when you want to hit the burn switch and when you don't to kind of fly it around so this is going to be very interesting i'm not too good at flying it it's going to be uh, pretty cool to see what people can do and how they master this thing because it's definitely going to be interesting there but that pretty much covers uh what's new i'm excited for the halloween update look forward to seeing it tomorrow and uh, yeah if anything else new gets added or needs to be covered or if i happen to get some of those visuals i'll be sure to show them to you guys Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week, and be sure to tune in Tuesday for what skins I think should be added. Looks like another round of Halloween skins will be accepted next week, so that's a pretty awesome thing as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.